wearing a white jerseys and socks along with the red shorts. I think Lee you know uh, what I think here is what we'll to look at the keys here for both of these teams. Yeah for the Rowdies it's going to be a difficult challenge to control the pace of the game because we all know how much the Red Bulls too like to attack and there you have right underneath that as I say that that is their key they have to be able to attack and score goals because defensively they give up a lot more goals uh, in the game than other teams do around the league because of that offensive mindset that they have uh, going forward so yeah we'll see how it all plays out here early first goal could be crucial Mike. Well, uh, an early attack here for Flemings, and he's pushed out by Porteas, the officials in the center. Joseph Dickerson with Nick Uranga, Jonathan Belinsky on the sides, and Daniel Gutierrez, your fourth official. Throw in to be taken by Najem. He's got it into Flemings. Flemings on the ball. Portillas trying to stand him up, and it will go off Zach Portillas, and will be a corner kick for New York. Yeah, quick start right off the get go, under a minute of play, and we've already got a corner kick for. The Red Bulls too. Uh, that's uh, the part that defending players for the Rowdies uh, have to be very careful tonight. This is a, a, a team that just finds the open spaces. They're very quick offensively. Vasulovic over it. It's an out swinger. Curled in shot. Big pass saved by Pickens. Still free and it will deflect out. Where's it off? It's another corner kick. Wow. Open man. Ten yards out. Matt Pickens. Big save. That is a huge save here early for the Rowdies to have conceded in the second minute would have been just an awful start here. But Matt Pickens, that's why he does what he does. Look at how wide open the player for the Red Bulls is in the box. Well, Basulovic again, this one's headed out on the far post. Another opportunity. That one shot in, and it's going to go over the crossroad. That was a deflection. Third corner kick here for the Red Bulls, too, in the first two minutes. Look at the goals scored there, Mike. There's a difference with goals conceded, but right now it's the Rowdies on the back foot here. Here's Basulovic again with that. Here's Basulovic. Now we put it over to the back post, and now on the volley, it's over the top of the bar, and it's a goal kick. They scored it. They scored a goal like this. And that's over the top, and the goal kicker go Pickens. So Matt Pickens will take this goal kick, and the Rowdies will have to try to settle this down. First couple minutes it was all Red Bulls, but they had the one big shot. Rowdies able to keep it out. Flipped on by Georgie Ristoff, and it's Sebastian Guinzotti being held by and Dom. And it will be a free kick here for the Rowdies. Marcel Schaefer sets to take it. That one back. Schaefer able to come away with it. He'll put it across. Wrist off. Deflected just wide. And it will be a U.S. Ameribank corner kick for the Rowdies. End to end action. First three minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah, that's the way we thought this was going to be, Mike, didn't we? End to end, and you know there's going to be some goals scored in this game. And there is the deflection. I think that hit Georgie Ristoff first, and then, or sorry, uh, it hit, uh, uh, yeah, it is a Ristoff first, and then off a Red Bull defender for that corner kick. So Schaefer will take this. He'll come across. It will be an in swinger. Hole in front of Loro in marked. You see the rain coming down. It's not heavy. It looks heavy, but it's dribbling down. That one flipped on. It's free in the front. It's still clear. And now the Red Bulls, too, will bring it out of the box, dribbling it out. And, the ball, and, the ball, and, the ball. and looking forward. This is where the Rowdies have to be careful on the counterattack. Red Bulls move that ball so quick. Good job to get back. Broken up there by Darnell King. But you see how quickly they get the ball back into play. They are always moving. That one played in to the top of the area. Cleared away. Vingard will play it short. Vingard is tripped behind the play. Free kick will go the Rowdy's way. When we talked to Stuart Campbell yesterday, Mike, we talked about that high line that the New York Red Bulls play, and they will be right on the defenders uh, of the Tampa Bay Rowdies, and that's where it will open up in the offensive half of the Rowdies over the midfield that will create space for the attacking players. He said, if we can get it over those 
forwards really playing high, we'll have a lot of success creating chances and creating space. Red Bulls able to come down with it now. Cutler out wide. He'll turn, being marked by Restrepo. It'll be a throw in here for New York. As Cutler steps up. Look at Ethan Cutler. Looks long. Flipped on. Collins. First one there. And as that goes out, it'll be over the line. It'll be a throw in for New York. Going through the legs. Now it's there in a deflection. It goes back to Matt Pickens off the foot of Collins. Opportunity there is Florian Velo got into the area. Oh, it's the same way the Red Bulls started the match the last regular season here at Allang Stadium, taking that 1 0 lead. And then the Rowdies really did answer well, responding with three straight unanswered goals. And so far, uh, much better the scoring opportunities have gone way of uh, the Red Bulls, too. It's played high by Schaefer. It's loose. Cole will struggle with it. He'll come down to New York. The header will be Basulovic. He'll get it wide for Flemings. In the gym. Looking to switch the field. He'll get it over to Endom. Hassan Endom up to Cutler. Cutler comes across. He'll play it towards the corner. Rolls back to Matt Pickens. And for viewers in Tampa Bay, it's November on MOR all November long, featuring all new episodes of your favorite shows, including Tampa Bay's top comedies, Modern Family, and The Big Bang Theory. That's Modern Family at 6 and 6.30, The Big Bang Theory at 7 and 7.30. All new episodes nightly on November long on more. We've got comedy down to a science. Digital 32.1, Spectrum 1210 HD, Frontier Files 512 HD, and Comcast 437. Ball free and loose on it is below. Below down on it. Maybe clipped by Restrepo, but play on. Below looking to go wide. That's Flemings. Flemings towards the area. Left foot's deflected by Collins. They'll asking for it, but it looked like it went off the backside. Looking for a handball, didn't get it. Flee below will drop it back. And now it shot high over the bar. Is coming up with Ethan Cutler from distance. And you see there Georgie Ristov giving a mouthful to Flemings, Junior Flemings, with a little bit of acting there as Zach Portillo's kind of pulled him a bit from the back. But the way that Flemings went down, he's getting a talking to. If this is later in the game and he's already done that, that would be a, a professional uh, uh, a con misconduct and he would get a yellow card for diving. So watch Portillo's, or sorry, it is Ristov, sorry, in the end. Just a little grab, but watch the reaction here. And that's the part that Georgie Ristov does not like one bit whatsoever is that theatrics after the play. No foul was called on the play at all. And as you pointed out, uh, Georgie is now getting just one more verbal word. He exchanged words with Basulovic running up the field as well. Well, a good job, though, by Joseph Dickerson. I think that's how you want to start this game. You want to allow the players to have the say on what goes on in the field. He doesn't want to start having to pull out yellow cards and set a tone for this match, but uh, that could, could be it for Georgie Ristoff. He's going to have to be very careful, too, because he, he's on a yellow card already in the playoffs. Darnell King up to Joe Cole. Cole into the area. Cole has four Red Bulls, two around him. He's able to get it back out wide to Restrepo. Restrepo cuts it back onto the left foot, but he'll try and poke it in with the right, and New York comes away with a loose ball. Into Cole as Restrepo got the loose ball. And now Darnell King is taken down. Play on as New York will come out of the back. They've got three on three situation. Rowdy's now with the fourth defender back, slowing it down just a little bit and waiting for some help is New York. Over the top, looking for Flemings. It's going to go off Portillas. But Matt Pickens will be the first one to it. Look at the Rowdy's goalkeeper. Ten clean sheets on the regular season, building off one in the playoffs against FC Cincinnati last weekend. And what a different 
game this already has, doesn't it, as far as the pace is concerned and the back and forth. And there's going to be some tired bodies out there tonight. It's a good thing the temperature is the way it is. I'm sure the players are loving the light little drizzle out there tonight, Mike. Yeah, I think it does cool off quite a bit as Bonomo was offside and the Rowdies take that opportunity. And it's Collins who finds Marcel Schaefer, who has space. Marcel Schaefer plays it back towards the far post. Off the chest! That shot blocked! That was Guinzotti, his opportunity taken away, and now Cutler looking at the back for New York. Now uh, this time, Marcel Schaefer chose not to pull the trigger and go on goal, crossing that around to Guinzotti, and it was just a, a poor first touch. He tried to control it off his chest, and by the time he brought it down, he was not able to get a shot away. Well, Georgie Ristoff fouls Flemings, deemed by Dickerson. Georgie is down as well. Both these players. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was before the tackle or the actual tackle itself that Georgie Ristoff uh, hurt himself there, but he looks like he is fine and he's more. up and going, but he has to be careful. Yeah, I think it was more shoe adjustment. It did go down, though, it appeared, and looked to be looking at his shoe there. This is about 40 yards out. Roddy's a two man wall. Guinzotti and Cole. The rest of the line held at the 18. Played driven in. It's at to the feet of Flemings. Still at the 18. On the turn. Looking to go help. And that one shot in. Pickens punches it wide. It will be a corner kick for New York. Yeah, I don't think Matt Pickens had much choice there. The ball is going to be wet. His gloves are probably a little bit wet. He doesn't want to take a chance of having that one slip through his gloves and go in. And that probably had a bit of movement on it as well. So he just punches it away. Well struck by the gym. And Vasulovic will take this corner a kick is third from this corner the fourth for New York this game this one doesn't clear Walter Restrepo and the header goes over the line throw in for New York. There's the gym. He did have that nice strike on net. We'll throw it back to Jordan Scarlett. Actually, that's in Dom has moved across. There's Scarlett now. Restrepo able to take that one away. Looking up front for Guinzotti. Scarlett steps in front of it. Cole. Back to Collins. And Collins, a little tough touch for Gorski, who just has to send it up the field. And offside was there. And the USL is one of the most prominent second division professional leagues in the world, featuring some of the game's top talent and rising stars. Stay up to date with all the latest league news by visiting USLsoccer.com and follow the league on Twitter at USL. Long ball by New York. Daniel King will run into it, but it will be New York comes away with it. Drop back for Cutler. Cutler in for Volo. Just like Cincinnati, Mike, good job by the Rowdies. They got to get right on those Red Bull players off the ball. Close them down. Don't give them any time because they are very dangerous from the outside. They will take long shots on goal, as we saw in that 4-0 victory over the Charleston Battery. Charleston didn't really finish on uh, multiple occasions, so that scoreline reads like it was a wipeout, but certainly Charleston should have had a couple of goals in that game to, to keep it close. That one's off the chest of Restrepo. Players looking for a foul. Restrepo's down. May have got hit in the face, but instead it's play on. New York tries to chip it over. Restrepo's still down. That one goes over the line. It'll be a throw in for New York. Kind of goes against that a little bit. Joseph Dickerson didn't see anything here, Lee, but we do know with head injuries, and there is the elbow to the back of the head. That should have been stopped immediately, but. Yeah, you're absolutely right. His Martin Vingard was in behind, and you saw that elbow come up high and hit Restrepo in the back of the head. He'll have to come off for a moment, but he is up, walking off on his own strength. Stuart Campbell, that got him out of his seat and uh, having a word with the force official, Gutierrez.
drop back and that will go off. Joe Cole will be a throw in for New York. Collins able to get that one. He'll find Schaefer up to Guinzotti. A lot of Red Bull jerseys behind it, so the Rowdies have to slow it down a little bit. Guinzotti pokes it away, but it'll be a throw in for the Rowdies. Maybe a little fortunate. That's that high line that the Red Bulls, too, are going to play all night long. Not giving much space for the Rowdies in their defensive midfield, and that's where they're looking for turnovers and trying to get something on the counter. The Rowdies can just make one or two solid passes and get it out of that trap. That's what opens up so much space. Cole, left foot switches it over to Portillos. Zach Portillos looks forward. He's got Schaefer running, but he'll give it to Ristoff short. Ristoff does give it up to Marcel Schaefer coming across. He'll try and come across, and it will be a throw in for the Rowdies. That one deflected off of Hassan and Dom. Shapers flipping a little bit down there, I think, just on that clearance. And he's just trying to walk that one off. I'm sure in two seconds' time you can see him grimacing a little bit, but I think that'll be forgotten in a minute or so. Go in rallies. Neil Collins will leave it for Portillas. Up, Guenzotti drops it in for Ristoff. It is played away by New York. Nice ball up for Bursulovic. And will turn back in and played back by Portillos to Pickens. Pickens will get it to Darnell King. Looking to come up the counter on the other side. King has it taken off of him by Valo. A little bit too much hesitation there by Darnell King, Walter Restrepo wanted to make a run, was looking for the ball, and that little bit of hesitation allowed Red Bulls, too, to be able to close in and dispossess him of the ball. That one played up front. Gorski's going to run it down. He's being chased by Bonomo. It will go over the line, and for viewers in Tampa Bay, catch all new comedies now on MOR TV. First, it's Tampa Bay's newest 80s family. That's all about throwback fun. It's the Goldbergs. Catch them weekdays at 5 and 5.30. Then girls just want to have fun on the comedy smash Mom. Weeknights at 10 and 10.30, only on MOR. Just can't get enough. There's more, the sister station of this TV, which you're watching the Rowdies on right now, and a special hello to those watching on Estrella TV as well. Collins sends that one back up front. Up for Cole. Joe Cole plays it for Guinzotti. It's on his foot. Good tackle there by New York. But it does go to Schaefer. Marcel Schaefer looking for help. He and Ristoff working together. Now up to Joe Cole. Has some space. Joe Cole tries to go around the defender. And it's Endom who steps in front. And it will be a throw in for the Rowdies. Portillos. Does find Cole. Joe Cole with a little space, but in traffic with everyone now and cleared away. New York comes away with a loose ball. Looking long for Bonomo. It's Collins who heads it out, and he does so deftly to Zach Portillo's a nice move to create space. Kristoff tried the back hit, did not make it over. New York with an opportunity now as Flemings comes forward. Stop him in these areas right here, not allowing him forward. Got to close him down. Offside as that one goes over the head. That one was cut back, and as it was, offside was Florian below. 20th minute here at Al Lang Stadium, scoreless between the Tampa Bay Rowdies and New York Red Bulls, too. Eastern Conference semifinal action of the United Soccer League. Winner will play the winner of Louisville and Rochester happen at the same time up in Louisville tonight. Location to be determined depending on the results of all these games, both these games. But Louisville is the one seed. 
New York now has it. Looking to come forward. Darnell King steps in front of that. That's Andrew Restrepo. Or Walter Restrepo, excuse me. Andrew is my old teammate long ago, but it's Walter Restrepo. Opportunity here as King has his pocket pick, but Gorski able to cover for him. It's a couple of times now Darnell King being closed down and lucky he did not get this possessed there or else the Rowdies would have been in a lot of trouble. Cole switches the field to Portillos. Ristoff flips it on for Schaefer. He's got help with when Schaefer looked like maybe he was going for a shot or to switch it quickly and miss hit it. It goes back to Evan Laura. Wanted to drive that one forward, and keep that one down, and said he got underneath it. Oro plays it out of the off his foot, off his foot. Excuse me. Gorski. Excuse me. That's Vingard who plays it back to Pickens, who sends it up the field. Gonzani deflects back in a little space there for Jordan Scarlett. See how much forward the Red Bulls come. They've got four lined up with all four of the Rowdies defenders. And it's really crowded in that midfield. And that's create some space. And it's going to create some opportunities for the Red, uh, for the Rowdies. Well, Schaefer will send that across, and Evan Loro was able to get that. And he'll roll it out. Sulovich works with Tanari. But he loses it. It's Restrepo into Schaefer. Schaefer being chased a little bit by Najim. New York works hard to get the ball back. Going forward. Trying to slot it through for Flemings, but Collins read that one well. And it's Darnell King running on the far side. That kills it for no one. Stuart Campbell, you see him on the sideline getting a little frustrated. Darnell King has not made the best of his bits of possession with the ball. Vingard will be whistled for the foul here. Our ball makes it back. The latest USL news is on Sirius XMFC. Tune into USL Coast to Coast with Mike Watts Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Channel 85. Sirius XMFC also airs USL Game of the Week. Check USLsoccer.com for dates and times. Red Bulls two with the free kick and they'll keep possession. Looking forward and tripped up is New York and they'll get a free kick and a dangerous opportunity here now. About 30, 35 yards out, but not from the center, but enough for New York to send the big bodies in. We crash in the penalty area here as this ball about to come across. Yeah, you can see obviously Bonomo in an offside position in the box right now. Junior Flemings standing alongside Marcel Schaefer and Zach Portillos. That's the big man to watch uh, moving into the six yard box. That's what they're going to look at, try to get something to that back post of Matt Pickens. Tenari's on the right foot here, but and it will be Tenari towards the back post. Headed up, Portillos beats Flemings to it, and the Rowdy's able to clear it up the field. Running onto it in the gym with good control. The gym has it, and he'll keep possession along with Cutler. Looking for Flemings, Portillos, the header over the sideline, throw in here for New York. Jim plays it quickly and gets it back. Flemings, nice touch back to Flemings. Good work by New York. Gorski has to just reach back, clears it up in the air, not out. Ball still free. It's going to be back to Tenari. That's off the hand, but no call. And that's over, and Matt Pickens gets his and sits at Matt Pickens here. Let's check in with Heather Donnelly on the sideline. 
Well, Mike, we have to talk about this crowd out here tonight. Despite the bad weather, there's still a very impressive crowd out here at Al Lang Stadium. Ralph's mob out in full force. They haven't let up chanting and cheering since the start of the game. They're lucky they're in seats that are under the cover. But even the fans that aren't, there are a lot of fans toughing out this rain in their raincoats, in their ponchos, here to support the home team, guys. It is a warm night, so it's not an issue, but sometimes, Lee, that rain just people don't want to sit in it. Yeah, the players will love it, especially the European-based rowdies. Well, here's Schaefer running down. That's off of New York, and it will be a U.S. Bank corner kick for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. It's Marcel Schaefer looks to get a ball. Out swinger here for the Rowdies. They'll bring Collins, they'll bring Gorski up into the area. Schaefer. Hand up, delivers towards the near post, cleared away by New York. It's going to come down to Zach Portillas. He'll take a right footer shot. It's free. Georgie Ristoff. Goal! Rowdies! not able to clear the ball very well. You see it drop here. Zach Portillos brings it down, takes a shot on the arm, and it falls right to Georgie Ristoff. And he's able to have all the time in the world and in alone on Moro, and he just bangs that to uh, Georgie Ristoff's left-hand side to the right of Loro. He gets a little bit of it, but not enough to keep it out. So that is Georgie Ristoff's 15th goal of the season and the all-important lead to the Rowdies. Momentum are going and maybe a, a little bit against the run of play Lee New York's kind of had the better part of it hasn't been settled down over the last few minutes but certainly an opportunity that kind of came out of nowhere as one of the Red Bulls is down that will be Jordan Scarlett. Yeah and you, you have to make the most of your opportunities that's the first I think real shot on goal by the Rowdies tonight as we take a look at Scarlett going down as he just is not able to to pull up in time and he bangs into the advertising on the side. May have knocked the wind out of him. He is up now. Seems to be okay as he kind of hobbles back in. Rowdies will have the throw in. Maybe New York may have been lucky not to get away with an intentional handball. We saw that hand come out. It's surprising that Zach Portillas took that with his right foot, too. He's really able to get a lot on it. And those looking across and of course, the Rowdies, says the three C, would need a Rochester victory against Louisville in order to maybe host the Eastern Finals. Long way to go here, but early on, those two are all tied at zero. Gorski. Close games between those two teams this year as well, Mike. I believe it was a tie game in Rochester, and it was only two to one for Louisville. In, in Louisville at Slugger Field yep. when they beat Rochester. So it was a stoppage time penalty, mm -hmm. too, Lee. So it was. It was 1 1 for a long time there. Here's a chance now as New York looks to go. And for the first time this year, the Rowdy scored first against the Red Bulls, too. And now here's a chance. Schaefer will feed Cole. Cole is onside behind the defense. Off the goalie, Laura, who makes the save. Joe Cole came in and Laura stood up and made the great save. Ah, Joe Cole can't believe it. He thought he had a 2-0 lead for his Tampa Bay Rowdies, but Loro comes out. Another look at this one. Great ball around the outside for Joe Cole. And that just hits the shoulder. If he's able to chip that a little bit more, that's a goal. And it's a U.S. Ameribank corner kick on the resulting save. And Marcel Schaefer, who just delivered that ball to Cole, will deliver this corner kick. Headed up by New York out. I think Neil Collins will be whistled for a foul. He was challenging and may have gone up on the back of one of the Red Bull two players. It's a nice little stat there, Lee. There is the Rowdies. 17 straight games now since Charleston shut him out 
back in the first of July. Yeah, and that 2 0 victory over Cincinnati on July 6 is what ended that winless streak for the Rowdies. So you see how they've turned it around since that time and uh, really played some good soccer this second half of the season. Uh, and New York here, and this one's cleared up by Gorski, on a 15 game goal scoring streak themselves. So both these teams know how to score goals. Yeah, we heard John Wolinick last time they were here talk about the slow start uh, to the season for the Red Bulls, but they have scored goals in bunches. They've had multiple goals where they've scored multiple games and they've scored multiple goals in a game. So the Rowdies have managed to put four up once this season. The Red Bulls have done it a few times. As Gorski sends that up the field, that's going to be over the sideline. And Lee, I'm looking here now at the field. We can see the rain dropping a little bit. It seems to be a little thicker. I don't think it would ever really stay heavy to this point, but it seems to be thicker, at least from our vantage point here in the press box. Yeah, it's, it was tough before to pick up in the light standards uh, unless it's, it's being shot, but now you can see in the dark that, that the rain coming down. Well, here's Schaefer. Schaefer's going to slot it through. Winsotti, it's going to go back a little far. Evan Loro has it. And, for viewers in Tampa Bay, after all the action on the field, check out the best in movie action, drama, and romance right here on Tampa Bay's first broadcast movie channel, This TV Tampa Bay. We have a down New York Red Bull. That's Jordan Scarlett, who collided with the wall just a moment ago. I don't know if he seems to be right. Did anything happen on that last through ball, or is this a residual from that uh, advertising board collision, do you think? I think it could be and this would be tough for John Wolinick if he's got to come out and take a defender out this early in the game and use one of his substitutions uh, in a defending position as we take another look at the, the ball that's going around. These, This is how the Rowdies are going to be successful. Uh, yeah, you know what, he's just looking at that hamstring. Yeah. He's pulling on that, that right, sorry, that left hamstring. Uh, I think that's when he was pulling into that advertising is where he pulled that and uh, we'll see if he's able to go uh, on in this match, but you see now we've seen those outside around the balls uh, feeding the forwards for the Rowdies a few times now. It really is spreading out the Red Bulls two defenders and giving some great scoring chances uh, for the Rowdies early here. As Joe Cole almost scored on one, and of course there was almost a similar play there, but this time Laurel was able to come out and grab that ball. Scarlett able to walk off the field, but I think he looks dejectedly. I don't. I don't think he's going to be. He pointed to the wall right there. I just saw. I just saw his uh, hand movement to that. I think when he did collide with the wall, or I keep saying wall, but it is really the ice, uh, the advertising board. That seems to maybe have made him not long for this one. The Red Bulls do have four defenders on their roster tonight to call from. Scarlett was. He, Ejected from the game on two yellow cards when these two teams met on October 4th here at Outlay. Well, he's motioned back on the pitch right now, Mike, and he's going to try to give it a go. Probably at least until someone's ready. But you're right, he is. He was able to jog back out pretty good. Played all the way back to Evan Moro. He'll drive that one forward, looking for Fleming. He's going to go all the way back to Matt Pickens, who will have it at his feet. Give his team a chance to rest for a second and force New York to maybe play the ball off of Pickens, who can still pick it up. Bonomo strategically going in, but Pickens will send it up the field. There's Zach Portillas. Portillas over the top for Georgie Ristoff, who is still on side. Georgie Ristoff brings it down, tries to play it off a Red Bull player, but I think that was in a gem. Instead, it will go through, and Evan Laurel will pick that up. You see Georgie acknowledging his team, and uh, yeah, should have tried to do better, but when you're on the in line, sometimes you just like to maybe play it off him and see if you can get that corner kick. Well, because of how many players the Red Bulls do move forward and pull forward. The Rowdy's really trying the over the top balls and longer through balls playing much more direct than you'd normally see them play and because of the space in the back for the Red Bulls that they open up. Nice tackle by Collins. Collins will get it back and now Gorski turns it over. That's got to be a handball. 
that continues to be in favor of the Red Bulls and it's not called. Well, Flemings will drop it back and have the chip up. Schaefer sends it out. And now Joe Cole in behind. Endom and Endom able to win the ball back and no foul by Dickerson. Dickerson saw nothing there. I didn't think it was a pretty good defensive play, but he was behind the player. Now Zach Portillas is picked by Flemings and Portillas will get a yellow card for grabbing the arm. Fans upset, perhaps with the original one as Joe Cole was behind Endom. Looked like Endom made a pretty good play on the ball, but he was behind it. And let's see. Here's the yellow card for Portillas, and no doubt about that one, Lee. It's Go to that there, but the fans kind of react to the fact that that's a caution. And just a second ago, we saw this. And you can see the hand, the reach in. It's, it's long arm. I, I, I'd say a pretty good play by end. I would hate to be yeah and, for that. And his long leg looked like he yeah. won the ball as well. I think so. Pretty good no call on that one, but hard to see it because when you're behind the player. But right now, it is a dangerous chance here for New York. Right foot sent in back post headed and it's wide. Good chance there for Jordan Scarlett crashing the back post. And the Rowdies dodge one there and they'll get the goal kick. Yeah another close opportunity. Nice service into the box and you see Marcel Schaefer doing his best to hold off Scarlett. And he puts that header side netting. Schaefer just enough to not allow Scarlett to direct that back. This pick and sends this up field. The ball is free and it'll be Scarlett sends it up headed back by King. New York with the loose ball at midfield going wide and Marcel Schaefer able to Win it. Collins, his pass is intercepted and now a through ball. That's just too far for Flemings and a goal boy, kick. Oh boy, Mike, the Rowdies cannot make mistakes like that against this team. You keep doing that and you're going to uh, not like the result. Uh, they will make you pay. And we've seen Darnell King give away a couple of passes in this game and now Neil Collins. Neil Collins was so solid against Cincinnati, but Cincinnati doesn't have the pace. And they don't put the numbers forward that the Red Bulls too are tonight and they cannot continue to make those individual mistakes or this could easily be a tie game. Yeah I think it's the fourth turnover just in the last five minutes two of them we one of them resulted in a Portillas yuck caution. That one the Rowdies come away with the loose ball still went upfield towards Restrepo as he tries to turn New York has it that ball is going to hold up as Collins can head it forward looking for Guinzotti and now Schaefer with the loose ball Marcel Schaefer. And Georgie Ristop back to Schaefer making the run. He'll play it across, maybe on net, and it's collected by Evan Loro. He looks forward and slows it down. And soccer fans, Nike is an official sponsor of the USL. For more information, visit Nike.com slash soccer. Loro punts it up. And Collins on the header up. Zotti getting talking to this is his challenge with the gym. Saw David in the gym at the ground. He's being booked as well. And yeah, Sebastian Guinzotti gets a yellow card. Second caution for the Rowdies here. This one of the 39th minute to Sebastian Guinzotti. I don't see a lot there, Lee. Did an elbow hit? No, it, it was a side, and that's exactly what Gonzati was trying to show the official. Pulled up his shirt a bit. He goes, "That's where right. I'm just jumping up, and he's hit in the side." There's no, there no elbow there. That one a little harsh. We can say Portillas was deserved. That one not quite. That should be a foul throw. It's not. Play on for. York.
Zadi will have to be careful now. A lot of the hustle up top. That one standing on the line to head it in. Kept back in. And Borski first one to it. Able to beat Volo. He'll send it up the field. When Zadi brings it down. And now off to Walter Restrepo. Restrepo. And marked by Dom. Will be a rowdy throw. Well, the Rowdies would love to add one late here in the first. They certainly don't want to concede going into the locker room. 1-0 is good enough. They'd love it to be two. It's off Scarlett. Who isn't showing a lot of effects after going down. He is moving pretty good. We saw him on the back post and now moving pretty good on the defense. So one less thing for Alalaniac to think about. Chance now is Darnell King. It will go off him, though. Another good throw in here for New York. Let's see that again, Lee. It's talked about this about five minutes ago. It seemed to be coming down a little bit heavier. Yeah, Neil Collins would say it's a beautiful day in Scotland. <laughs> Able to turn, but New York able to get it away from him. And now they'll go forward, and after the play, is that going to be on Cole? Ethan Cutler saying him, Joe Cole will receive a yellow card, and this will be his second of the playoffs. Joseph Dickerson still having conversations. That card out, it's going to be raised towards the Rowdy's captain. Now three yellow cards here for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. And you can see the flow of this one. Really not going well for the Rowdies. You can see after it. And yeah, it's going to be comes in a little late. And his studs are up. So it wasn't a hard foul, but. Bookings will happen more times than not on that foul. That one flipped on by Fleming. So it'll go back to Pickens. He will just take his time and forcing Pasulovic to pressure Matt Pickens. Sending it forward looking for wrist off. The header by Endon. Endon up. You see much difference between that one and what Gonzati was doing. We saw a little high arms on that one. Restrepo. And on a pull. You can certainly say, at least on the Portillos and Cole yellow cards, Lee, that probably warranted, but you see New York kind of pull away with a couple of these opportunities and kind of surprised we haven't seen something go the opposite way just yet. Yeah, it is stopping the run of play for the Rowdies and moving forward. And well, but here's a quick opportunity. Guinzotti tries to get it to Cole behind Joe Cole, though. Gorski wins that one. And Schaefer. And to your point, yeah, they, an opportunity, and it did slow it down. And this will go off in New York, and Schaefer will take it quickly, perhaps. Whoa, oh. how is that called? The referee's got to overturn that. And he doesn't. Oh, no, the linesman actually weighs for it here, but I think you're right. Well, the Both linesman called it a throw in for the Red Bulls, and that's clearly a throw in for the Rowdies, and that's why they went to go with the quick throw. So, yeah, some missed call there. Some interesting officiating. It's a little slanted right now in the favor of the New York Red Bulls, too, that's for sure. Now they're going to call a yeah, handball perhaps on Guinzotti. You have to look at this. And again, you know, the hustle, when you get that striker, a lot of times you're coming in late on plays trying to force something. You don't want something cheap. That one's going to be tough with Guinzotti up top. You would think with the veteran opportunity, Joe Cole, he wouldn't put himself into a position, but he it is the second of the playoffs. This one over the top. Flemings, he's onside. And that's off his hand. And it's still cleared away by the Rowdies. Flemings is there. There was three things they missed there. 
Uh, but the Rowdies can't give it away like that. Back right to them. Now Ristoff gets around the gym. Georgie Ristoff up the field. He'll get it over to Restrepo. It's going to be too far for Walter Restrepo. Well, he said this was going to be action-packed, but the officials certainly missing some calls. And that one appeared to be offside. You're right, Mike. And now the referee has said play on here. Well, even if it wasn't offside, the Lemmings played it into his own hand mm -hmm. in the area, and no call there. Radis will just want to get in. They do have the one nothing lead on the tackle by Restrepo there, as it would be a throw-in. Georgie Ristoff goal. There will be three minutes of stoppage time. We did see Scarlett go down a couple of times, as well as Sebastian Guzzati. So here's an opportunity now as Scarlett brings across midfield for New York. Cutler over the top, and Gorski's going to get there first. He'll play it over CD. Be a throw in here for New York. New York gets it back. Dangerous opportunity here for New York, but Neil Collins reads that. He's got space. Dangerous ball to Cole in the middle, but he's able to get and create his own space. And finally, Darnell King can send it up the field. Going to go past Guinzotti. Evan Loro out well outside his area. Looks to send it up the field. He does. Gorski. Challenge with Bonomo. And good job by the Rowdies defense there. Scarlett again back to Laurel. Driven ball for Flemings. Portillo's wins that header. Georgie Rista. Can't keep it in. Throw in here for New York. Schaefer keeps that one from traveling to the area. Good work by New York as Sulevich up to Flemings. Flemings, Gorski. Acrobatically gets it out. Restrepo will run down Cutler. And it will be Walter Restrepo with the ball. Stepped into it by Metzger. And Restrepo will tackle it out. And it'll be a throw in for New York in front of their own bench. Right here, yeah? Right here. Matt Pickens almost got knuckled over a little bit and goes down on it just to corral it. Final seconds here, 20 seconds or so as Pickens looks to send this one up the field. Bonomo asking how many seconds to get, but Matt will punt it up the field. The over the head of Scarlett, now Endom sends it up high. Vingard wins that, now it's chested down by Guinzotti, Restrepo, Guinzotti, and now free kick for the Rowdies. Thought maybe that was the halftime whistle. That's a 50 50 ball as well, and just because a Red Bull player went down, he's calling a foul against the Rowdies. No, it's actually a free kick for the Rowdies. It is, okay, because initially that's I thought that was going against the Rowdies, and so did the Rowdies. Quite a bit of confusion. In this first half on that part, the Rowdies have been booked three times. Nothing so far for New York Red Bulls, too. Well, one last chance. They're going to send this one up. And the Rowdies recognize it, throwing Neil Collins up. But it will be Martin Vingard. We'll just send it up into the box, looking for Collins. Neil Collins, that one's free across. As the header goes out before a shot can go off, it is the halftime whistle. And the Rowdies. Lead New York one to nothing on a Georgia Ristoff goal. And right now, Heather Donnelly down on the sideline. Heather? Mike, coach, you trail one nothing here after an action packed 45 minutes. What do you think has prevented your team from getting on the board in the first half? Um, I think we need to be a little bit more active 
uh, immobile in the attacking third. Uh, we're a little bit stationary, maybe a little tight. Um, but we certainly had a few opportunities, so we're close. Uh, just like last game here, I think we grew into the game and, and started to get better chances in the second half, so I foresee that. Thanks, Coach. Guys. Thank you, Heather. It's interesting first 45 minutes, second 45. We're in for a lot of fun. Rowdies lead New York Red Bulls 2-1-0. You're watching Tampa Bay Rowdy Soccer on this TV, Tampa Bay. Today, we can connect more. Play more. Do more. And all that more takes energy. At Duke Energy, we're doing more too. More innovative technology, like ways to fix outages before they happen for more reliable energy every day. So no matter how much you do, we're always here with power for your life. Can you feel it? That vibe. It's here on America's best beaches. Feel it in unique mashups of amazing, crazy, and wow. So within every moment, you live amplified. St. Pete Clearwater, solar powered and radiating a million megawatts of possibility. Dive in deeper at liveamplified.com. If you're new in town and working on your dreams And you don't know what you need We got the perfect plan for you My Blue, My Blue We are here, we're here for you For you, for you, we're Florida Blue Don't you worry now, cause you don't have to Here we always say we got you We are here, we're here for you This is your home Some people are blessed. Compassion and empathy are second nature. Being selfless increases their self-worth. They consider caring for others a calling, not a sacrifice. And we consider them our role models. Because if humanity can make the world a better place, imagine what it can do for healthcare. It's halftime here at Al Lang Stadium as the Tampa Bay Rowdies lead the New York Red Bulls 2-1 to nothing on a Georgie Ristoff goal. Mike Pepper and Lee Godfrey and Lee the first 45. Boy, oh boy, this one, it started off fast and it didn't start off well for the Rowdies either as New York really put them under a lot yeah, of pressure. It's intense, isn't it, out there? And we knew it was going to be this type of game and uh, that those emotions, I think, have really carried over from the last game that they played against each other. So to be expecting the first half, it was a wild one. It was back and forth. Let's check out those first half highlights just to see how it was uh, for both of these teams out there uh, tonight. And uh, certainly the Rowdies getting off to a good start, but it was all Red Bulls early. What a save, point blank by Matt Pickens here uh, early. Uh, that is an absolute fantastic save uh, on Scarlett, who got up there a free open header uh, for uh, the New York Red Bulls too. And uh, uh, here's uh, Marcel Schaefer doing what he does. That one just missing as Georgie Ristoff gets a piece of it. And so uh, does one of the defenders as that goes just wide of the far post. And then Marcel Schaefer uh, again, uh, this time uh, with that through ball to the back post for Guinzati. And that one is uh, just uh, not brought down quick enough. And uh, uh, right there you see him chested down, may have hit his arm. That's why you see the hands up for the Red Bulls defenders and not called, but he doesn't get a shot off anyways. And here's the goal on the clearance. It falls to Zach Portillos. And he has a go with his right foot off the arm of a defender, and it sits right to Georgie Ristov, and he's able to put that by LaRoe for the 1-0 lead. And it was shortly there after that, Joe Cole had another beautiful chance, too, where LaRoe made a shoulder save, or it could have been a 2-0 at the half, but that's Georgie Ristov's on the season 15th goal. Another good ball put in here, and there's Scarlett coming in off the back post, and Marcel Schaefer does just enough to tie him up enough that he can't get that one uh, on goal. But certainly a, a entertaining first half for the Fairweather fan. If you're a Rowdies fan, you think you've been a little hard done by, by the officials in the first 45. Maybe the calls will start going the Rowdies way in the second. But uh, certainly 
Uh, that was a, yeah. a well played half. Yeah, you can see shots right there, shots on goal, more particular to a couple. Rowdy is able to create more inside the box, but early on it was all New York. One thing we will have to look at, though, Lee, those three cautions to the Tampa Bay Rowdies, and how much do those come into play when we play the second 45? Yeah, and, and you, you got to wonder what the substitutions are going to be like then for uh, the Rowdies. Uh, Leo Fernandez comes back in there, so with uh, Guinzotti on that card, does that mean that could be the change a little bit later in the game right. not to get that second yellow? So we'll see how it all unfolds, but certainly it was an exciting and entertaining first half. We got more to come up on the halftime show. The Tampa Bay Rowdies lead the New York Red Bulls 2 one to nothing in the USL Eastern Conference semifinals. You're watching Tampa Bay Rowdies Soccer on This TV Tampa Bay. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we want you to eat better and feel better with smoothies made from better for you ingredients and food crafted with the bold flavors you love, like our Chipotle Chicken Club flatbread with grilled chicken, bacon, pepper jack, and chipotle mayo, or our Island Green Smoothie with fresh kale and spinach, banana, mango, and pineapple. Life's too good to settle for anything less. Chipotle Chicken Club and Island Green Smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Florida Print Solutions is St. Petersburg's leader for the best quality, service, marketing, and printing solutions for your business, always with free pickup and delivery. At Florida Print Solutions, we stand for our community. Superior product quality, effective business solutions, and of course, we stand for printing. Make your next call to Florida Print Solutions and take your business image to the next level. Florida Print Solutions is an official sponsor of the Tampa Bay Rowdies. coming out pretty quickly. The stain is gone. That's a huge difference. You could see how it was really disgusting and how white it is now. Looks like the stain is coming out. The OxyClean started to lift it up. I'm pretty impressed. OxyClean, America's number one versatile stain remover. Now get the power of OxyClean in a detergent. One cap beats four of theirs. OxyClean gets the tough stains out. The new locale at Sundial in St. Petersburg. More than a market for breakfast, Lunch, dinner, eat it here or take it home. Fresh made sushi, pan Asian dishes, mouth watering burgers, ice cold beer, specialty drinks, and decadent desserts. Lunch hour or happy hour. Enjoy it here or take it home. More than a market. Come and taste local. America. Excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Here's your check. You got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom. That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Many brackets have been busted following the first round of the 2017 USL Cup playoffs as three top seeds fell during opening weekend, including two 2017 record-setting teams. Friday night saw the number eight seed Sacramento Republic FC take down the 2017 regular season champs, number one seed in the West, Real Monarchs SLC. After a scoreless first half, a 49th minute goal from Luis Espinal silenced the crowd at Rio Tinto Stadium. 
but in the waning minutes of the game, Max Lakowiecki was pulled down in the box, leading to a penalty kick for the Monarchs, with Chandler Hoffman finishing to pull the game even. Two scoreless overtime periods took the game to penalty kicks. With a strong performance from goalkeeper Evan Newton, Sacramento Republic FC completed the upset over Real Monarchs SLC, taking the game 3-1 in penalty kicks. The lone upset in the Eastern Conference occurred by a large margin. The number seven seed New York Red Bulls 2 shut out the number two seed Charleston Battery 4-0. The reigning USL Cup champs Red Bulls 2 outshot the Battery 15-12. The number six seed Oklahoma City Energy FC completed the third and final upset of the weekend when they took down the number three seed Reno 1868 FC. Vucic Vucic smashed home the game winner in the 41st minute. Behind an impressive performance in goal from CJ Cochran, Energy FC were able to shut out the league's record-setting top offense. The field continues to narrow and the playoffs continue to remind us how anything can happen when the stakes are raised. For USL Network, I'm Morgan Conklin. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer for Meals on Wheels by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. Find fun activities to do, like boating and biking, or camping and hiking, plus much more. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. We got the sun. We got today. We got the sun. to shop and dine in downtown St. Petersburg. The new locale at Sundial in St. Petersburg. More than a market for breakfast, lunch, dinner, eat it here or take it home. Fresh made sushi, Pan-Asian dishes, mouth-watering burgers, ice cold beer, specialty drinks and decadent desserts. Lunch hour or happy hour. Enjoy it here or take it home. More than a market. Come and taste locale at Sundial in St. Petersburg. If you're going to chase your dreams, remember, they're faster than you think. Welcome back to playoff soccer here on this TV, Tampa Bay. The Rowdies lead New York Red Bulls 2-1-0 here after 45 minutes. Heather Donnelly joined by Rowdies head coach Stuart Campbell. Coach, you're up 1-0 here at the half. What stood out to you about your team's first half performance? Yeah, just the, the effort, the application that we'll put in. As I said, I think we can be a little bit better in possession of the ball. We've had a few, a few needless giveaways, but that'll improve in the second half. You know this New York Red Bulls 2 is going to come out 
full force. What's the most important thing for your team to stay aware of here in the second half? Just our defensive discipline has to remain the same in the second 45 minutes because, as you rightly said, they've got nothing to lose. They've got 45 minutes to try and get them, themselves back in the game. All right, thanks, Coach. Guys. Thank you, Heather. And uh, boy, oh boy, Lee, uh, you know, if we're going to come a little bit faster pace. Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a challenge here. But the Rowdies does give them plenty of opportunities for counterattack. We even saw that in the first 45 already. Yeah, you're right. Uh, absolutely, Mike. And uh, you heard Stuart Campbell uh, talk about, uh, y you know, they've got nothing to lose the Red yeah. Bulls to. Yeah. So it it's going to be very interesting. I, I think it's more the same as we uh, talked about at the, be the beginning of the broadcast. I don't think anything has changed as far as uh, as the keys. It's uh, all about trying. I don't think that uh, you can l l try to dictate the game as far as the pace of it for the Rowdies. Uh, you, you heard defensively how they're going to have to stand up. And again, uh, this Red Bull team is going to continue to attack. I think they'd rather lose 3-0 um, and, and trying to get those goals than, than keeping it a 1-0 game. Yeah. You know, so very interesting. Uh, yellow cards, uh, you know, they don't accumulate in the playoffs uh, for uh, either side. And right now, like we said, it's just a matter of three in the book right now for the Rowdies in the first 45 minutes. And uh, that, will that play? That is a handball uh, on Quinzati. If that'll play into the second half and determine who Stuart Campbell the substitute uh, in the second. And Guinzotti is going to be one of those that will have to be careful. He does have a caution tonight, as does Joe Cole, as does Zach Portillos. Portillos was marking there, but Collins steps in front to head it out. But New York has it, looking to send it across far post. And down goes the Red Bull player. I think that may have been Vasilovic. Pickens will run it down. Darnell King is taken down by Bonomo. Free kick, Rowdies, and taken by Gorski. Played over to Collins. Portillos looking forward and it's chipped in. Indom and Scarlett work together, Scarlett. Gets back to Loro, who sends it up the field. New York playing it up, stepped in as Collins and Georgie Ristoff has it now. Ristoff inside. Well played by Vingard. Darnell King, King coming forward to Restrepo. King running into the space, gets it back. Vingard. Pokes it back to the Collins. And Rowdy's will reset with Gorski. Gorski, dangerous, but does find Ben Gardy gets it out to King. Towards the corner, Restrepo runs onto it. Onto the left foot, Walter Restrepo towards the back post. It's over Ristoff off his head. Foot race between him. New York, and New York does get to it. Below, look forward. Flemings. Flemings up to Bonomo. Back in. Collins reads that one. Collins and Bonomo both go down for it. Bonomo will run it down in the corner, but then he'll misplay it. There'll be a throw in for the Rowdies. And for viewers in Tampa Bay, it's November on MOR, all November long, featuring all new episodes of your favorite shows, including Tampa Bay's top comedies, Modern Family and The Big Bang Theory. That's Modern Family at 6 and 6.30, The Big Bang Theory at 7 and 7.30, all new episodes nightly, all November long on MOR. We've got comedy down to a science. Here's an opportunity there, Fleming to turn. He's inside, Collins able to get it, and he'll play it out wide to Schaefer. Schaefer just sends it up the field. Here's the foul on Guinzotti. Boy, again, very close two players battling for position, and I thought that Guinzotti did a nice job just to get the turn, and he would have been all alone unless it was a grab there that we couldn't see from up here in the broadcast booth. Very quick whistle in favor of Red Bulls, too. Collins has it for Tampa Bay, and he'll look long for Guinzotti. Indom gets it back to Loro. Loro up and Able to get it past the leaping Sebastian Glenzotti. That will go off of Indom and it will be a throw in for the Rowdies.
ball is in the stands and the Rowdies are waiting on a soccer ball to make it back and it will be Portillas finally getting one to him. Blocked by King Cole challenges and it's Vingard who finds Restrepo. Walter Restrepo inside Guinzotti. Off of sliding the gem. It's Marcel Schaefer now with it. He'll find Ristoff. It squeaks through the defense, but it's Metzger for New York. Red Bulls two look to go forward. Tackled away by Portillos. Fifty minutes passed. This one. Flemings will take down Darnell King. He'll be whistled for the foul. Staying down a little bit. And second time he's kind of gone down. I think the referee just kind of gave him a word. Said, "No more. That was on you." towards the corner. Darnell King won't be able to get to that one. Is it a little far for Vingard? And the Eastern Conference semifinals here at Al Lang is 1-0 Rowdies. Of course, semifinals means another one. There you see it. Louisville, Rochester, they are still scoreless. What does that mean? Well, more into that, Lee, is that if the Rowdies can hang on for the win, they will play the winner of that game, obviously, but they are a higher seed than Rochester, so if the Rhinos can find a way at Louisville, They'll host them in the Eastern Conference Finals. That ball across to Bonomo. That one across. Below is a little far. New York had a good job of switching the field. Just can't do anything in the final third. That opportunity. Taken off the ball, and now it's New York. And Dom. Chance now is Pasulovic able to turn. Metzger. Jordan Scarlett. Red Bulls keeping possession now. As Metzger looks for help. Restrepo defensively steps in front of it. Still trying to work his way up. And combination of Metzger as well as the rest of the defenders takes the ball away. Bonomo onto the right foot, trying to cut it back. Opportunity now. Pasulovic now poked away by Vingard and now from distance Lindom from about 40 not really that close well struck but not on target. Good build up though by New York Red Bulls too on that keeping that possession and that's just uh, not the Lindom with that effort from outside is not even close to goal always going away from it. But uh, you know you Rowdy's fans you can probably feel the nerves every time New York comes down that way. Uh, because of their ability to score and and they do a lot of nice one two passing in really close quarters. Cole loose ball gets it looking on the far post there's Georgie Ristoff and the gym though wins the header. It is off the gym and it will be out just in front of the corner flag. It'll be a throw in for the Rowdies. Georgie Ristoff will leave it for Zach Portillas who will come up from his left back position and take this. Georgie, and if he wants to throw it over Georgie, that's Guinzotti helping him out, but now comes back and it will be Guinzotti. Portillas gets it across. Scarlett heads it up. Away. Vingard around it. Nice hustle by Martin Vingard to Guinzotti. Schaefer towards the back post. And that one deflected up and over. It will be a U.S. Ameribank corner kick as Cutler kind of got a little tied up. No one on him, but he just puts it over the net and it will be a 
As I mentioned, the U.S. Ameribank corner kick for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Yeah, not too much communication there. I don't think Cutler had to touch that ball, but no one letting him know that there was no one there for the Rowdies. And, and then it took that weird hop off of him, and he puts it back towards goal and just goes over the crossbar. There's Schaefer drying the ball off. Being in swinger for the German international. There's Marcel Schaefer. And Collins wins the header back post off the crossbar. Cleared away by New York. It was Gorski on the back post after Collins put it back up and in. Darnell King. After being pressured by New York, just has to send it up. New York on the counter to Rowdy, still trying to compose themselves and get back on defense. Opportunity here for New York. Slotted in and offside. Couldn't hold the run. Fleming's played it out, and the Rowdies get the much needed offside call. Yeah, they did because Hunter Gorski stayed down for a couple seconds after that play, but what an absolute beautiful ball put into the box by Marcel Schaefer and it, you know, it goes off the crossbar. There's a look at the offside, clearly offside, the right call there. But how close was that opportunity of the corner kick? Georgie Ristoff wins the header. It's behind Cole and Indom. Play it up the field. Valo cuts inside. Now an opportunity here is this one towards out. That through ball will find its way to Matt Piggins. Here's that corner kick lead. Collins gets up and it's Gorski at the back post and he can't believe that. Well, take it away and it's Fleming's into the box. Fleming's will go in, Pickens will go down. They're gonna call a penalty kick. Fleming's went wide left. Matt Pickens will get a yellow card. New York Red Bulls have a penalty opportunity. I don't think Pickens can argue very much here. Bad turnover by the Rowdies, and that's the speed that this team brings in. And uh, we'll have to look at the contact, but I think it was there. There's the bad play by Hunter Gorski, dispossessed by Flemings. Flemings comes in, let's have a look. Yep, there's the contact with the leg tripping up Junior Flemings, and that's a penalty kick. And the caution to Matt Pickens. New York. In their game notes mentioned eight for eight on the year. They say they're the only team in USL that has not missed one this season. And it'll be Stefano Bonomo. Set to take this here for New York. Dickerson directs the players outside of the box and the D. Bonomo sets it down. He'll take it with his right foot. Pickens on the line. Waiting on the whistle. It's given. Here's Bonomo. Taken goes right to Matt Pickens right. And it's a goal for New York. The Red Bulls, too, have tied it up at one. Well, Stuart Campbell at the half. That's exactly what he said. We have the limit and not give those defensive giveaways and this time it did cost them it didn't in the first half and uh, this time it did cost them and this game is tied at one it has been those turnovers that the Rowdies were able to avoid damage but not this time So after an early goal by Georgie Ristoff, the Rowdies find themselves all tied here with about a little more than a half hour to go. And perhaps, since it is the playoffs, maybe extra time. Almost turned away by New York, and it was, but now it's cleared up by Endom. Gorski will get whistled for a foul now as Bonomo is down on the ground, and they're trying to crash the run. Sulevich will play it short.
cut inside. Now into the box and Fleming's pick and saves. Loose ball. Up the field. Turned over at midfield by the Rowdies and New York again with it. Into the box, headed down. Red Bulls two this time though. Turn over a little bit. Quintani again called for a foul. Red Bulls will play it quickly. Red Bulls two on it. New York looks to go forward. Stepped in by Portillos. Portillos is taken down. It'd be a free kick for the Rowdies. And the USL is one of the most prominent second division professional leagues in the world, featuring some of the game's top talent and rising stars. Stay up to date with all the latest league news by visiting USLsoccer.com and follow the league on Twitter at USL. That one blocked again. Again, the Rowdies are just reacting poorly uh, in their own half with the ball, and New York Red Bulls, too, are just all over them, eating it up. And Portillas will lose it. Flemings sent across. That was going to be a little far for everyone. Over below, run down by Darnell King. Ship it up to Joe Cole, and now Cole looking to go down the line. With Restrepo, the header though, back into play. And Daniel King will play it off the floor and below. It'll be a throw in for the Rise. Well, we just passed the hour mark, and it's like New York has got a burst of energy right now. Rowdy's going to have to temper this storm. Pickens cannot pick it up. It's off of Georgie Ristoff. That one's blocked. And it played back and just missed as Basulovic wanted to go with Pickens well out. It'll be a goal kick. And it will be a goal kick for the Rowdies and for viewers in Tampa Bay. Catch all new comedies now on MOR TV. First, it's Tampa Bay's newest 80s film, Family, that's all about throwback fun. It's the Goldbergs. Catch them weekdays at 5 and 5.30. Then girls just want to have fun on the comedy smash mom. Weeknights at 10 and 10.30 only on MOR. Just can't get enough. Check the local listings. MOR, channel 32. Here's Restrepo. Sent up. Pressure. Guinzotti takes it off Scarlett. Guinzotti across. Misses Cole, and New York has it. Clears it out by Cutler. And Fleming's able to turn it midfield. Vingard on the tackle will get a caution. Well, this is how they can get you with the speed. And you see that on the counterattack. Walter Strepo has to be careful. He doesn't get a yellow for descent. But a great opportunity. And you see there, I think that Vingard saying that he got the ball, but a little bit of contact there. He's not happy with it. Now. Another caution on the Rowdies here is Stuart Campbell has his bench warming up. Scarlett on the free kick into the area on the back post. And it's going to get just past Florian below. It'll be a goal kick for the Rowdies. Quinzani takes it off of Scarlett. Quinzani tries to chip Lauro. Doesn't get it over him and the save by the New York goalie. Oh, I think if he brought that down because Lauro was coming so far out, if he just hammered that low, that's going to go in, Mike. Off his chest and just hit it there. Instead, he doesn't get the chip up. Well, a couple of turnovers for New York. The Rowdies just miss out on those opportunities. Now it's Guinzotti who's behind the defense. They'll bounce in in the gym, but it's Guinzotti working hard. Guinzotti will get called for another foul. And Lee, that's an innocent one, but when you have a caution, you're going to have to watch that. And get 
those number accumulation. We'll see. We'll see Joseph Dickerson. And, and to be fair, Guinzati's yellow card was probably the least deserved. I don't think it yeah. was. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's probably the fifth or sixth foul on Sebastian Guinzati this game. That one's bounced and it's headed down by Scarlett. It's been kept in by Cutler. Well, some very shoddy defending by New York on the long balls forward. I would continue this with the Rowdies really test uh, those two center backs and, and Dom and Scarlett. Well, but this ball back through, and it's a through ball, but offside on New York. Bonomo can't hold his run. Played out quickly to Restrepo. Rowdy's looking to get numbers. Here's Walter Restrepo. Goes at Cutler. Goes around it, but Cutler able to cut inside. And now Walter Restrepo will be whistled for a foul. And Walter Restrepo will get a yellow card. That's never a yellow card. There's allowed to be contact in this game, and well, those are two players going at the ball. There was a little bit of shoulder contact. I, I think, Lee, that's for the yelling. Walter Restrepo made a beeline for the referee, Joseph Dickerson, and you pointed it out just before that. He had words He's, for Dickerson then, and I think the second he ran at Dickerson, Right there, you nice. can see it. Yeah, okay. So he's come in with the leg behind and just made a little bit of contact. So we now have one, two, three, four, five rowdies in the book by my count and zero for the Red Bulls, too. That one's off of New York, and it will be a rowdies throw. And you look at it, Lee, I, I think it. You can probably entrust your veterans, Cole and Vingard, but Restrepo is fired up right now. You might look at that, and the quantity of Guinzati fouls, those might be your two candidates for the first two subs for Tampa Bay. Just this broadcaster's speculative theories. Yeah, I, I don't even think it's speculation anymore. Mike, uh, Alex Morrell on the sidelines, and I can see him coming in probably for Restrepo, I would think, just because He's got a bit of a hot head right now, and if, if you're undisciplined, you don't want that to cost your team. Endon goes through Georgie Ristoff, no foul. And it's Michael Nanchoff who will be coming on for Yeah, I look like Alex from this side, but I guess I need a vision test, and uh, way <laughs> over there it is Michael Nanchoff. And again, no foul, so this is getting to be a very one-sided called match where fouls are taking place uh, uh, and, and being incurred against the Rowdies, and uh, it seems like the whistle is being blown very quickly when the Rowdies uh, go in on a challenge and not so much on the other side of the ball. Yeah, it's, you know, and again, you know, uh, I'll point to Guinzati's caution. So uh, not a lot of arguments against the other ones, but you wonder here what the decision should be that New York hasn't received a yellow card at this point. Or they are even a free kick. Yeah, and you that know, for that matter, it's yeah. a foul. It's a free kick. I, I'm not. I'm not going to say it's a yellow card. That, that's for sure. But it is a foul. It's a. It's a knock in the back, and a play on for there. Yeah. It's. It's. You're calling it both ways and, and stopping the play every single time. Fine. It, it disrupts the game. Disrupts the flow. Makes it a bad game. But you can just tell this is the loudest I've heard uh, the fans here, uh, as far as uh, you know mounting their displeasure uh, as well. So uh, the Rowdies will have to stay positive. It's a 1-1 game. They cannot allow th this to affect them. And as the New York player goes down, Joe Cole will get whistled for the foul. Fans aren't happy about that. But the latest USL news is on Sirius XM FC. Tune in to USL Coast to Coast with Mike Watts. Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Channel 85. Sirius XM FC also airs the USA, or the, excuse me, the USL. Game of the week. Check USLsoccer.com for dates and times. Uh, it's Jordan Scarlett, and I think that's it. I think it's he's he's pulled. It's a little bit of a push by Joe, but this is on Scarlett, who's already injured. Uh, so there's a little bit of a trip, and then that's he's pulled that muscle. He's been favoring that left hamstring before, and they've already motioned for him to be substituted off the field. Now Scarlett is down still, so this will be New York's first substitution of the game. 
And again, even on that little nick there by Joe Cole. With the way this has been called so far this game, he has to be very careful. He's not given the second yellow. But unfortunately, that's the direction I see this game going right now. If the Rowdies will be so lucky to get through 90 minutes, not being down to 10 men the way this is going. Well, we see 90 minutes, Lee, and it could well be 120 minutes because we are tied here at 70 minutes. So they are, the stretcher is walking its way or, or being jogged on as Scarlett seemed to tweak the left hamstring earlier. This time, after getting just kind of brushed against, goes down and like that he's down. He's very uncomfortable, as you can tell. Well, and then not only you talk about just the 90, the time that's going to be added on to this first half now is going to be a little bit more substantial than we saw in the first 45. So Let's see Scarlet. They raise the right leg. It doesn't like he really wants to do that left leg much, but he kind of rolls over onto it. So it'll be the New York Red Bulls on the free kick of Stewart Campbell contemplating what's going on. Substitution will be Tim Schmall. We saw Schmall in the matchup here earlier this month. So that's two times at Scarlet. Exits a game against the Rowdies early here at Al Lang Stadium. The last time it was due to a red card, and this time it's an injury. So Small is actually going to get his first touch, maybe with the free kick. Although Evan Loro, no, Small looks to send it up the field over the head of Velo. Now Darnell King back up the field. Joe Cole will challenge. It's over Small. It does go off of that, but Endom will play it across the field. And it really. Even though it's tied at one goal apiece right now, they've really gone to three at the back at New York Red Bulls too. The Cutler is playing in a, in a more of a, he's really pushing up that left-hand side. And, and you see Schmoll, Endom, and Najim Najim as the three primary backs with Cutler getting in. Ethan Cutler into a much more forward position, or at least into the midfield. Throw in goes the Red Bulls way as Guinzati's pressure. Deflection goes into the stands. Georgie Ristoff was it for another foul. So over it is Basulovic. Aaron Basulovic. So Jim runs towards the corner and they'll try and play it back to him. That was read by Cole. He and Schaefer work towards the corner. Joe Cole up the field. Looking for Michael Nanchoff. It's over the defender. Nanchoff with a little room, but. No one in front of him, so slow it down. Now he'll drive it across, looking for Guinzotti. Guinzotti is offside. Flag up late. New York raised their flags, but or raised their arms, and they got the call. Cutler. That header by King. Results in a throw in for New York. Play towards the corner. Gorski involved in the collision. Sent over towards the back post. Chested. Florian Velo will drop it. Georgie Ristoff pokes it away. And that goes for. New York. All 
the way back to Evan Laura. Drives it forward. Over the head of Flemings and King able to control it. Looking up for the foot of Cole. They find it. Schmall through Joe Cole. This one time a whistle. So the free kick. Michael Nanchoff over it. Played short. Nanchoff again. Back to Gorski. Good look up. Over Schmall. And Guinzotti's offside. As Guinzotti plays it off the post. Be careful on that. Guinzotti, you got a card. Exactly. And, and you can't allow that to happen. The way the cards have been coming out tonight, you just can't do that. that if that's your second yellow and that's why you get sent off, yeah. you, you just can't do that. First one wasn't well deserved. That one probably more deserving of the first one. Headed up, Schmall has it. That one's played up by Laura. Collins will have to win this header, he does. Second ball though, Metzger plays it up, but it does find its way to Manchoff. Well done by Neil Collins. And the rallies played out as there is a New York Red Bull player down. And for viewers in Tampa Bay, after all the action on the field, check out the best in movie action, drama, and romance. Right here on Tampa Bay's first broadcast movie channel, This TV Tampa Bay. And that's Dan Metzger. Who's down, he's up. Gonna have to walk off the field for a moment. Rowdies did play it out, we should see New York play it back towards Matt Pickens would be the belief. And soccer fans, Nike is an official sponsor of the USL. For more information, visit Nike.com slash soccer. So Flemings. Let's go. And that one's played back to the feet of Matt Pickens as Bonomo looks long. Rowdies will bring it out of the back. Neil Collins looking forward, left foot, looks up, looking for Guinzotti and Dom and Sebastian Guinzotti. They're going to call for a handball. Here is an update from Louisville, the number one seed. Louisville City FC leads the Rochester Rhinos 1-0. They started about the same time we did. Lee. A lot to be resolved still tonight. This is far from over yet tonight. Flemings, King will win it. Manchoff over for Guinzotti. Guinzotti's in a race with Schmall, but Schmall able to head it back towards Laura. It's Brian Ownby for Sorry for Louisville City in the 78th minute of play. So just a little bit ahead of us because of the injuries. That's chested down. New York. The gym. New York really starting to own the possession game and really pushing the Rowdies back. Rowdies again. They're trying the long ball and they've been pretty successful with it. The problem is they're getting called on the foul every time it's between a forward and a New York Red Bulls two defender. Pickens drives it up looking for Quinzati. It's small up over Cole. Flemings. Tia's back to his goalkeeper. Pickens will send it up field. As it goes off New York, it will be a throw in for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Tied at one in this Eastern Conference semifinal between New York Red Bulls 2, the defending champions, and the Tampa Bay Rowdies as we hit 79 minutes on the clock. Wintati offside. 
flag came up early on that one. Zani was the forward man. Goal here in the second half by New York. Tied us up after a Georgie Ristoff first half goal for Tampa Bay. That one's driven across and it's going to go past everyone. It will be a throw in for Tampa Bay. trouble here that one is headed back though and Pickens able to get to it first throws it out to Zach Portillas. There's ball here. New York looking to counter Florian below cuts it inside and it's going to go back to Matt Pickens. Who quickly throws out it's over the foot of Ristoff. Turnover. Metzger. Rowdy's really having trouble right now holding on to the ball for any periods of time. Matt Pickens doing his best to get things going and playing from the back as he has done once again. Bad ball, that one chipped and Pickens has to make the save. Pickens turned it over. And very fortunate that Basulovic not able to get more on it. And a poor kick by Matt Pickens. The decision making has been poor in the second half by the Rowdies. And it's cost them once and it almost cost them twice. Winzati able to get to Marcel Schaefer. Schaefer will tee it up. Goes wide. Goal kick. Seen strong shots. That one was 35, just not able to get that one on target with Marcel Schaefer. Bounces in this second half. All those second balls are really being won, Mike, by New York Red Bulls, too, and putting the Rowdies on the back foot. How many times have you seen Matt Pickens either have to throw the ball out or, or, or start from the back again? LaRoe really has not had to do that much in this second half. Cole. Best opportunity on that corner kick with Gorski hitting the crossbar, but then moments after giving the ball away. Here's Joe Cole towards a corner in Dom. And it will be a corner kick or should be. Or no, I guess no complaint by Joe Cole. And Dom had it. I guess Cole did poke the foot in there, but it appeared that maybe the last touch was off him, but no complaint by the Rowdy's captain. Saw that as you pointed out the one corner kick lead, but then a couple of turnovers by New York, but they've been pretty solid here in the last 10 to 12 minutes. Not giving up those opportunities and creating chances themselves. That one's forward. Throw in for New York. That'll be a Red Bulls two throw again.
Driven in, but that one's solved by Vingard. Winzotti has it taken off of him. Here's Velo. Velo, back post offside. It will be a free kick for the Rowdies. Let's check in with Heather Donnelly. Mike, as this second half winds down here, you got to think about uh, fitness and, and the way these teams are playing. In our pregame show, we heard from Florian Velo from New York Red Bulls, too, and he said, we're a younger team, and we, we think that's an advantage for us. They are a much younger team than the Rowdies, so you've got to think Stuart Campbell here with a few minutes left to go, maybe thinking of a sub, maybe getting in some younger, fresher legs, guys. Well, turnover here for the Rowdies, and Portillo's has it. He has a yellow card, but he stepped in front of it nicely, gets it out, and the Rowdies almost created an opportunity for New York, but this time, I think it was, was that Martin Vingard, Mike? With it a was. terrible header across the field, gave it right to the Red Bull player, and the Rowdies are on the back foot now for sure. They just can't keep up right now with this pace. Well, Flemings has it. He's able to get around the defenders. He's into the box. Junior Flemings into the area, and he'll go down. That's like the fourth time he's gone down, and the Rowdies are asking, you've got a caution. How many times? And he is. And there is the first yellow of the night to New York Red Bulls, too. Fourth time really with no I'll say maybe a couple of minimal contact but that one none looking for a foul and he does get the caution this time and no complaining there he just decided to go down and there were Neil Collins is close and hoping to get a call you almost wonder was that fatigue there Lee but he has gone down rather easily on a couple of opportunities so it had to be done. Red Bulls set to make another substitution. Played back. Neil Collins uses Pickens. Pickens. That's not a good clearance, though, but it's two Arates and Cole able to turn. Joe Cole looking for Guinzati across, but it's going to go back into the area. And Evan Loro is that. He'll drop it out short. Red Bulls, too, as you pointed out. Ready to make their second sub, but they'll turn it over. Here's Joe Cole. About 30 out, under pressure. Gets it wide towards Schaefer. Marcel Schaefer whips it across. Push on the back post. Manchoff, shot, save, Loro! Rowdies with a great chance. Evan Loro deflects it over. Great cross by Marcel Schaefer on that left-hand side. It takes a bounce and falls in. And boy, oh boy, Gonzati, or sorry, Nanchoff gets it all, but Loro comes off his line, stands tall, and makes a big save. U.S. Ameribank corner kick for the Rowdies. Marcel Schaefer over it, out swinger this time. Towards the back, Collins wins the header. It's cleared out by Endom. It's Nanchoff that runs it down. He'll give it to King. King under a little pressure will want to send this one in while the big bodies are there. He does. Brought down, Gonzati, shot, save! Laura, what a save! What a turn, what a save! What skill from Sebastian Guinzotti, and that guy is keeping them in the game right now. A U.S. Ameribank corner kick again for the Rowdies. Fans trying to get the Rowdies up. 89th minute. Schaefer. Headed, back post, run down by Joe Cole. Cole has two on him, trying to get it, but it's off of Cole. It'll be a throw in, Florian below. And New York survives a moment. Well, you gotta tell you, that turn by Guinzotti, that save by Loro, unbelievable as Basulovic makes his way out. It'll be Ben Mines. Here's a. Look, Mike, at cross, and what a great turn, and he just smashes it. Fingertips by Evan Loro to save a goal here late. It's been a long season with the USL, but I would say that might be save of the year right now, given the time, the extension by the young New York Red Bulls two goalkeeper. Shot them. They'll try and go around instead. It will be a goal kick. 
just remember, Mike, I would expect in the neighborhood of five minutes of stoppage to be played here with that injury to Scarlett having to leave and be stretchered off a fair amount of time went into that. Moreau sends that one forward and it's off the Rowdy's throw in here for New York. I agree with you, probably at least five with the stretchering off as well as the other stoppages of play we've encountered. Gorski long and it's going to go back to Evan Moreau comes outside his box and then we'll wait for it to come in and as you guessed it is five minutes stoppage time. Schmall turns it over. Here's Schaefer. Schaefer looking for Georgie Ristoff. Georgie Ristoff on the far post. He'll bring it across. It's Schmall drops it down. Joe Cole good hustle back by New York and Metzger to keep the Rowdies captive from getting a shot and now the long ball it's Neil Collins that will run it down. He'll use his goalkeeper Matt Pickens who sends it back up the field. And it will go off of Pickens. It'll be a throw in New York. Bulls two. Chance towards a corner. Portillos actually will earn the foul. Good job defensively by Zach Portillo stepping in. Yeah, especially when Zach is already sitting on that yellow card to still not be afraid to do his best to go into a challenge. And he almost has to at this point, Mike. 1-1 one, one with added extra time looming. Three minutes and change of stoppage time from going to extra time. But New York doesn't want that. They'll try and go forward. Tackled great, by Neil Collins. Great tackle by Collins. But he has a take off him. And it's Fleming's out wide with Darnell King. Manchoff in there with him. Fleming's able to turn as he gets some space. Drops it in. Neil Collins steps up again. This is where the Rowdies have to react quicker. And they get the clear of that second ball because New York is all over you. Behind the play. Now pushing the throw back further. King to learn what's further. Cutler will take the throw. And Schaefer. Schaefer under pressure. Has it taken off him? Marcel Schaefer turns it over. Now it's played wide. Into the box. Shot. Pick and save. Rebound. Clear it away. What a save by Matt Pickens. That is incredible by Pickens as the Rowdy season just flashed before their eyes. I think the second ball was a foul, so it'll be a free kick for the Reds, but you're right. There's the great shot in there by Ben Mines. The substitute comes in, and Matt Pickens comes out, gets down in a hurry, and makes a fantastic save. Battle of great saves here, but now it's an opportunity again for New York. Far side, cut back. Dropped off. Now sent across far post. It's over everyone. King will run it down, but he's under pressure from Flemings. Up the field. New York will get it again, and they'll use Evan Moreau. Well, that would have been devastating, Mike. <laughs> Late in stoppage time. Matt Pickens right now holding down the fort. Made a fantastic save in the first couple of minutes off the corner kick. There's a great save there. Not much you could do on the penalty kick. But certainly two massive saves. The Rowdies on the other side have had one off the bar, and LaRoe has made at least two fantastic saves as well. So we thought this would have been a higher scoring game, and it certainly would have as Zach Portillos is limping around. If it wasn't for the keepers, this would be possibly 3-3 or 4-4 right now. And Edsker drops it back. Here's Velo. Then Mines, who was offside. I think Portillo's limping a little bit. He made the tackle to clear it out. Thought he may have been stepped on. Nothing called at that point. Final minute of stoppage time. The 
This is the playoffs. We've mentioned a couple times. 30 minutes extra time. Should we be tied at the end of regulation? That's headed away by Indom. And it went off of Guenzotti. Louisville City FC wins one to nothing. The winner of this game goes to Louisville next weekend. Handball on Velo. There will be a free kick for the Rowdies. One chance left maybe here. They'll send the bodies up. They'll get the free kick. Marcel Schaefer over it. Neil Collins runs up. Hunter Gorski runs up. And the Rowdies finish it before potential extra time. Fan standing. Line held about 16 out. Schaefer sends it into the box. It's hanging high. Loro is up. Punches. It's outside the area, and that will be the end of regulation. We're going to extra time. Rowdies and Red Bull 2 tied at one. Lee, late in this game, both Matt Pickens and Evan Loro. Unbelievable saves in both circumstances. Yeah, that is the story of the second half as Red Bulls 2 get the equalizer on a penalty kick. But certainly the action again was back and forth, back and forth. And just a couple of world-class saves by Matt Pickens in stoppage time. And a little bit earlier in the 88th and 89th minute, Loro with two brilliant saves of his own to keep uh, this one tied. And we will now play the 15 minute to 15 minutes of added extra time and right now we will get a break as the players recover as we'll tell you more about those two 15 minute halves coming up rowdies red bulls two tied at one we'll be back you're watching rowdy soccer on this tv tampa bay can you feel it set five it's here on America's best beaches. Feel it in unique mashups of amazing, crazy, and wow. So within every moment, you live amplified. St. Pete Clearwater, solar powered and radiating a million megawatts of possibility. Dive in deeper at liveamplified.com. <laughs> There's a lot to a name. Especially when that name is a world leader in healthcare. We still deliver the same compassion we've provided for 90 years. Plus the excellence you expect from Johns Hopkins. Together we can conquer the biggest challenges and offer your child the very best care. When, when it, it comes, comes to kids, kids, choose Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. And welcome back here to Al Lang Stadium. We are all set. 30 minutes of extra time, Lee, and it's not sudden death or golden go. We're going to play two 15-minute halves, and if we're still tied, then it gets interesting. Yeah, and then the best of five penalty kicks. Whoever gets three out of five would be the winner, and if they're still tied after the first five penalty kick takers, it is 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one until we have a winner. Yep, yep. First time once you get through there and you can no longer at the best of five at that point, as you pointed out from that point, sudden death when it comes into that situation. But it is two 15 minute halves, and what that means if one of the teams does score, we're not done. We're going to continue playing until these 30 minutes of extra time are concluded. And who's ever winning at the end of that, that will be your winner. That will be the team that moves on to play Louisville City. And uh, that will be how this one will end tonight. Perhaps if not we'll go to penalty kicks. And of course as these teams got their breath and everything right over there on the sideline was Heather Donnelly. Let's check in with her. 
Hey, Mike, a little bit different strategies from Stuart Campbell and John Wallenick here during the five-minute break between regulation and extra time. Stuart Campbell gathering his team together, having a chat with them, and then letting them go off and stand on the field and, and chat amongst themselves. John Wallenick just gathering his team now with about one minute left to go for a chat. His team spent most of their five-minute break drinking water and stretching several of the players down on the ground, getting their legs stretched out by trainers and assistant coaches. Guys. Thank you, Heather. Teams will swat sides, and you can see I think it's even a mid possession really for New York. There was a stretch, Lee, for about 20, 30 minutes with the Rowdies. Really didn't create a lot. New York really got it, but boy, late. A couple of great chances. Yeah, there was, and really the possession's the only stat that, but still very e even in everything else. You see the fouls a lot more called on that side, which has resulted in a lot more yellow cards for the Tampa Bay Rowdies uh, through 90 minutes, but certainly everything else very equal over. As they do halves. the 15 minute halves they will switch sides at the end of 15 minutes and this time the Red Bulls will defend right to left to start this first half. Rowdies will kick off perhaps the Red Bulls opting to not have Ralph's mob at their back in those second 15 minutes given whatever that result may be. But Joe Cole over it. We are about to get started. 30 minutes of extra time here from Al Lang Stadium. Rowdies and Red Bulls to winner moves on. Loser will play come next March. The next game that matters. Red Bulls are defending champions in the USL this year. Cole plays it back to King. We're underway here in the second. Now the first 15 of that is this long ball will go. Be a good kick here for New York. Keep our eyes on the substitutions too. New York has used two of their three. This one turned over there as it comes down to Nanchoff. Rowdies have used one of their three. Cole back to Nanchoff. Still inside, right foot across. That's going to deflect. Laurel has to make another save. That one off his own player. And Dom. Unreal. And Georgie Ristoff didn't think that Laurel was going to get to it. So he went too deep into the box. He was all by himself. That one almost went right to him. Portillos brings it forward, tries to slot it up. Guinzotti, but offside is Schaefer, so he doesn't go after it. It'll be a throw in here for New York. First minute, Rowdy's put the Red Bulls under some pressure, and Moreau again up to task. Some space here for New York as the pass beat through, but Cutler will get it for New York. Cutler will find in Dom. Mines able to turn. Cuts inside Ben Mines. Can't find Bonomo and Collins in the right place. We'll use Portillos to go up the field. Throw in. Not good there by Portillos whatsoever. I don't know if that was going in itself, Lee, but it was close. And I think that was definitely going in, and Laurel has to swat it away. And there's, and a, there's goal a goal for New York. Stefano Bonomo gets it, and that ball came down towards the corner and sent in. And Bonomo has given New York a two to one lead here in extra time. Well, here's another look here. Cross into the box and uh, Bonomo gets in behind both center backs and Hunter Gorski. I, I don't see Neil Collins in, in the picture at all. Uh, so they totally get caught there and Bonomo gets in behind. Flag stays down and two to one New York Red Bulls. So they've now come back from down a goal to score two unanswered. And now it's on the Rowdies uh, to equalize uh, before these extra time frames are, are done or your season is done. Great ball by Florian below. Again, not golden goal. That's why we have at least 27 more minutes in this one to play. Ball brought down by Vingard. Looking for Schaefer. It's intercepted and in New York looking to go forward. That one's going to go back to Pickens.
Schaefer. That will be off of New York. Gorski looks to bring it forward and he used Darnell King who's got some space. Darnell King who's had a Fleming's marked in there and Schmall will clear it away. Nanchoff and King work together. Michael Nanchoff looking at the back post. Wrist off will be over the line. It will be a goal kick. Georgia just uh, couldn't keep it in. Set to make their second substitution of the night. Coming off will be Joe Cole. And on for Cole will be Martin Patterson. Patterson on for Cole here in extra time. Well, not much choice now. Stuart Campbell, he just has to put on all the attacking players. So as attacking midfielder, he's gone with a straight forward Martin Patterson. Kristoff, Gonzati, Patterson all out there up top, but you got to get them the ball. Yellow card for Indom. Indom getting the talking to. And Rowdies will make their final sub. Alex Morell. Will come on. It's going to be for Martin Vingard. We'll drop Nanchoff back a little bit, bring Morell and his speed up front over here onto the near side. So a New York throw. Well, Stuart Campbell knows it's at stake, and that's what he's done here. He is. 100% has to go for it and has to get bodies forward. Put on, I like the young, speedy Alex Morell coming off the bench. Of course, Patterson, he's a, he's a good poacher. You get him the ball at his feet, he's been a solid finisher this season. And the good news is, uh, time wise, this is 64th minute. You still have, or at least now the, as we head into the seven, there's still 23 minutes remaining in this one. The bad news is, you do have to get that goal. Roddy's out of subs now. Martin Patterson with it. He'll be playing up top with Winzati. Runs off wrist off. That'll be a throw in for New York. Opportunity to turn. Back to Matt Pickens. He'll use Darnell King wide. As Cutler sends that up the field. Of course, keeping the other one to chase it down. And Dom wins that. Zotti in for Morell. Alex Morell marked by Cutler. Will earn a throw. Oh, 
Darnell King he has perhaps a little more oomph. Will take this throw. Well, we saw Darnell not training on Friday, practicing the long throws from this very position. King looks in, looking for Guinzotti, headed down. It's free, top of the box. Patterson will look to drop it to Schaefer. Schaefer, shot, deflected. U.S. Ameribank corner kick. Raddies have been dangerous. Hit the crossbar here in this half. Another opportunity just wide from here. This time sent in. Looking for Collins. He and Schmall should go over them both. Nanchoff heads it back into the area. Now it's headed out. Morell back in. It's going to come down. Guinzotti. Schmall comes through, heads it out. Patterson running towards the corner. He'll tackle and keep it from below. Going up, but below able to find it. And Metzger able to go around. And Morell will get called for the foul. Wins the header. Schaefer able to get to that second ball. Sliding his wrist off, but it's poked just enough by New York. A gem. Thought Schaefer could have got that ball through to Patterson. He was wanting it. Sent in. Guinzotti just off his foot, and Schmall clears it out. Here's Zach Portillos. Cut inside. Nanshaw taken down. Free kick for the Rowdies. So Neil Collins getting that right down in a hurry and moving forward into the box. It'll be Marcel Schaefer taking this one. Soon enough, only a one man wall here. Although that's one I believe he'll deliver into the area, but boy. If there's anyone who's striking it, I wouldn't mind it from there, but they're going to look for Collins. They're going to look for Gorski. Headed out by Metzger. Gorski will run it down. He's got room to turn. Plays it towards the corner. Nanshaw, or that's Morell. Alex Morell sends it back post. Collins heads it back, headed away. Chested down. Left foot on. It's going to squeak out. It will be a goal kick. Michael Nanchoff couldn't get enough on it as Neil Collins has to be helped up. That's it now, right for substitutions if anybody's injured for the Rowdies. Playing down both teams. Morell wins that header over Guinzotti's foot on the bounce. Collins looking up and they get it to Darnell King. Poked in, Alex Morell going towards the corner, looking for help. Into Darnell King. King drops it on the back heel, left foot wide. Michael Nanchoff doesn't find the target. Good work by the Rowdy, she just can't hit the target. Third minute of 120. Still 15 minutes to be played after we conclude this 15. Teams will switch sides. New York on a Bonomo goal here in the first extra time. Taking the 2 1 lead. Moreau will send that up the field. Mines, Mines plays it back in the gym, and now it's an opportunity here as they find the open man. Metzger below towards the corner, and now it's going to go over the line. Goal kick. Most 
professionalism there by the New York Red Bulls bench who's warming up. They put the ball back on the field. Dom wins that header. Metzger looking for Mines. On side. Driven across off Collins off Gorski. Now it's going to be kept in by Portillos. Yes. Being Collins work and keep it from being a corner kick. Now on the deflection it will actually be a corner kick. Tenari into the corner. So Tenari will take this one. 30 seconds plus stoppage time. Yes, there are stoppage times of each period of extra time. Shot headed wide. Very close there. It's over Schmall. Schmall comes in. But I think it went over his head. It was the man in behind him that got the header. Dom is at Morel challenges and Dom Second ball. Gorski will get called for this foul. One minute being added to this first half of added extra time. Careless by New York. Rowdy's well, may get a chance, but then the Rowdy's turn it over at midfield. Rowdy's have been sloppy at times, giving the ball right back to the Red Bulls when they've had time and space. Slotted through. Pickens with his feet. Gets to it first. Patterson can't challenge or can he? Yeah, it's brought down by Schmall. Final 15 seconds of this. And let's see if Patterson can force the play up. Does. Tackle by New York and now Metzger looking to go wide. It's Flemings. Over everyone, and that will be the end of the first 15 minutes of extra time. We'll have another half and lean in the third minute. New York Red Bulls, two, able to get the go ahead goal, change this game. Rowdies have already made their offensive subs. Yeah, and that's really. Catching the Rowdies off guard on a on a just a quick play again, developing in the end uh, deep there, and the Rowdies center backs get caught forward, and uh, no one in there to get Bonomo. Take another look at this goal here, and very frustrating. And again, Laroe with some fantastic plays, so quick. You know, three seconds in there, and you see the great ball into the box, Gorski. Is trying to get back. And Neil Collins, I, I didn't even see where he was in that play. So that's just a huge goal by Stefano Bonomo. Yeah, the throw in on the far side and, and it caught that couple quick touches. And Florian Velo sent an excellent ball across. And it just appeared the Rowdies had a hard time marking up tight on that one, but kind of started into the corner. New York Red Bulls 2 does still have one substitution remaining. Nomo, that's 12 goals in 15 games. What a two tonight. Or two tonight with a penalty kick as well. So that's yeah, 13 in 15 is just an incredible games to goals ratio. Well, the Rowdies still 15 minutes. It's seen them come back many times, and if they can somehow find an equalizer and get this one to uh, the penalty kicks. We'll have them all here for you. But it is the New York Red Bulls 2 leading the Tampa Bay Rowdies 2-1. And one thing you can really notice here, Lee, at this point, it's really kind of deflated the crowd. The Rowdies are going to need them to kind of get them pumped back up. And I know this crowd is certainly capable of it. We'll see if the Rowdies can maybe create a couple of opportunities to get them fired up like they did in the final minutes of regulation time. Well, the last time they played Red Bulls 2 here at home, 
The Rowdies managed to score two goals in less than 10 minutes time. 18th and 25th minute of play. Joe Cole and Martin Schaefer. So it has been done against this team. A couple of quick goals. And they're going to need that. They're going to need at least one to extend the season to penalty kicks. And two goals. And you're going to Louisville to take on Louisville City at Slugger Field. Yep, the winner of this one will do that. Louisville City, the number one seed in the East. Advance, knocking out the Rochester Rhinos 1-0. This one we're going to test Zach Portillas towards the corner, and it's Mines that runs it down, waiting for help coming in the box. Mines, left foot. That one's deflected, and Pickens has to go across. Forsky kind of cleared it out, and it went up the Nomo. Morell will be deflected and it will be a U.S. Ameribank corner kick for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Michael Manchop will take it. Here's Nanchop. That one towards the back post. Had it. It's cleared away off the line. Diving header by Flemings. Didn't have a lot on it, but he was in the right position. Now New York brings it up the field. It's going to get to Zach Portillos. And the work by Morell and Portillos will allow the Rowdies to set it back up. Yeah, not a lot on that one, Mike. And if there's a little more on that, I don't think it's saved off the line. Rowdies just can't seem since that one nil goal to be able to solve it. Evan Leroux. I say this one went off of Marcel Schaefer. He disagrees. You can see Patterson here. backing up, but if Patterson maybe lets it go for Gorski. Now it was actually cleared out off the line, kicked out, but it was another player, Metzger on that chance here now Pickens top of the area there to get it and roll it out to Gorski Morrell Morrell has it picked from him Flemings Flemings on the ground will get a whistle for the foul Zach Portillos. And Georgie looking for Schaefer perhaps. He's up the line. They'll get it a wrist off and now delivered up. And the Nanchoff and his ball for Schaefer is run down by Endom. And that should be off of Endom, but it'll be Schaefer whistle for a foul. No, nope. yeah, I guess so. Marcel Schaefer. Good battle between Ndom and, and Schaefer, and and he's fine and he knows it. He's trying to waste some more time. There's Loro. Collins wins that header. Over Patterson, but Madame will send it high up towards midfield. Nanchoff able to get it. Michael Nanchoff. He'll try and dribble it and he'll get it. Shot just wide. Martin Patterson didn't miss by much, but couldn't find the near post. A lot of great work there in the midfield by Michael Nanchoff. And it was a good first touch by Martin Patterson. Able to bring down that ball and watch it here in the middle of the screen. And he just whistles that one wide of the post.
Moreau's goal kick. King wins it. Nanchoff. Linzati. And Morell now. Alex Morell. That's King. He leaves it in for him. Darnell King across and, and um, over. It'll be a U.S. Samara Bank corner kick for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Manshaw set to take this final 10 minutes. Sent in near post, headed away. Loose ball, Morrell will find it back to Nanchoff. Nanchoff, marked by Flemings, and it will be off of Nanchoff, and it will be a throw in for New York. Zadi is cramped up there. He's slow to move around there, trying to straighten it out. Morell can't connect with Schaefer. And the clearance will come out to Matt Pickens. Pickens looks to send it back forward. Two rowdies compete, Ristoff and Patterson. Manchop. Throw in for Tampa Bay. Ristoff flips it on. Patterson. I'll say it's off Martin Patterson. Throw in for New York. And Patterson wants the foul, the holding from behind. That's the only reason he couldn't do anything. He couldn't move. And yeah, it goes off of him for the throw, but he was looking for a free kick. Gorski switches it over. It's Morell. Morell able to use his speed. He got a little shove from behind, but he's getting on. It's marked by Cutler. Morell towards the line. Alex Morell behind the defense. Cuts it back. It's on the left foot. Patterson misses. The turn. The shot. It's wide. Have a look at this. All the work by Alex Morrell and Martin Patterson needs to finish here. Great work by Patterson. Here's the turn, and you're, you're not 12 yards out. You have to hit the target, hit the frame there. Two opportunities by Patterson here in the second frame of added extra time, and he's been wide both occasions. Morell tying his shoe. Rowdies are up. Final seven minutes plus stoppage time here and extra time. Season in and Darnell King will get the throw as he tried to go down the field. We talked about Guinzotti cramping up. He's again down. But it's Darnell King in it. King will earn the throw. Guinzotti through the next seven minutes here for the Rowdies. They'll throw Collins up front. Looking for a target from King. Looking for Collins. Headed out by Metzger. Nanchoff tries to go back in and now it's below who heads it out. Now it's sent up the field by Flemings or into the stands. Throw in for the Rowdies. Switch the field. Portillos is running free if Schaefer gives it to him. He'll actually go forward into Guinzotti. Guinzotti turn shot over the bar. Goal kick. New York. Just over the bar. Guinzotti can't look at this. Brought down and he hits it with the right foot and he's just sliding in. He gets a little bit underneath it. Uh, Laurel's not, Laurel's not getting to that ball. That is, is beyond him. him. Yes, it was. 
Final five minutes here as this one's sent up the field, headed back by Portillas, run on to New York. They're going to try and run towards the corner. They got some space. Run the back hill. Second ball, though, is in. Play on. Let's go with this. And Gorski will look forward. He'll go upfield. Flipped on. Patterson. Patterson taken down. Free kick for the Rowdies. Can they take it quickly? They'll wait. I think they should set this one up. Exactly. Nanchoff, Schaefer over it. A wall will be set five yards from the box. We're 33 yards out. Three man wall for New York. New York will be set to make their third sub. Nanchoff over it. Schaefer plays into the back post. Headed back up into the middle. It's still free and now cleared away by New York. King uses Schaefer. And Patterson onside. Patterson poked away. Patterson will be whistled for a foul. Actually, and he'll get a yellow card. Let's check in with Heather Donnelly down on the sideline. Mike, a couple minutes ago when the Rowdies had a, a set piece, Stuart Campbell sent Neil Collins forward and then told Hunter Gorski just to play with three in the back. So the Rowdies, with a few minutes left here, are just throwing numbers forward, guys. Yeah, Neil Collins has gone up uh, top now as well. So it is just Portillo's Gorski and King in behind on the back line now. Rowe has it. Sent up the field. Gorski back up. Georgie Ristoff. He'll play it out wide. Can Schaefer keep it in? He does. Now he just send it up the field looking for Guenzotti. And behind the play, the Rowdies were taken down, so they'll get the free kick. No advantage as Georgie Ristoff was taken down. And now the Rowdies want the ball. LaRoe has shoved Neil Collins, and he shoves him again. And Neil Collins upset, trying to get the ball. LaRoe was holding on to it. Desperation here in the Eastern Conference semis. Still trying to sort it out. New York doesn't mind this. I know that the time will be added on, but really, truly, how much of that is always added on. Final substitution for New York coming off will be Tenari. Coming on will be David Abador. Nanchoff over this one. Rowdy send guys into the box. Abador back to defend. It's Nanchoff on the whistle now. We'll send it up into the area. It's headed down. It's free. It's loose. Now it's cleared away. Rowdy just start losing those second ball battles right now. It's dropping in the box, and there always seems to be a white jersey being able to clear that ball away. Flipped on. Georgie wrist off and towards the corner. And now we'll go over the line. Goal kick. 119th minute. I know there will be at least one minute of stoppage time. We'll see. Perhaps two here, Lee, as we've had some dust ups here. But whatever it is, it's no more than couple of minutes here for the Rowdies to equalize tonight. Perhaps off a of King so Gorski has to run it down. He's able to turn it back. Hunter Gorski up the field. That's going to go free and now cleared out by New York. Good turn for Bonomo. And 
Bonomo goes down. He's trying to get a foul. Didn't get it. Schaefer and Ristoff working together now. Blocked in for Nanchoff, but Nanchoff good hustle, and it goes to Schaefer off in New York. Schaefer on the cross. Shot save, Lauro! Patterson can't buy a goal tonight. That is unbelievable. Well, that is unreal that that does not go into the back of the net. What a ball into the box by Marcel Schaefer. It appeared that Loro got a hand up, but you're right. Patterson appeared to be open about four or five yards out. Three minutes of stoppage time, Lee. Three minutes. Roddy's keep it in. Nanchoff. Looking. Here's Morell. Alex Morell gets it out to Darnell King. King being marked by Flemings. We go to the line. That help. Can he get to the line and cross? Darnell King, it will be a goal kick. That was agonizing for the Rowdies. Moreau is told to hurry up. And that was the aftermath of everything, and that one sent out. Another throw for the Rowdies. 21st minute. On 22nd minute now. Pickens under some pressure. He's got to get it out to Gorski. Bonomo running hard. Knows he's got to do it for 120 seconds more. That one sent up the field. Rowdies need another opportunity. York tries to slide it through Portillo's again back to Pickens. Pickens has to go long. A little underneath that one. And now the second challenge. King up the field. Collins tries to flip it on. New York again with it. Clemens. Try and take it to the corner. He does. Try and hold it there now. Cut inside a little beyond him. Here's Nanchoff up to Schaefer. Marcel Schaefer looking to send it long. They give it to Georgie Ristoff. Ristoff drops it in. Guinzotti out to Schaefer. Schaefer on the run. There it's cleared out. Rowdy's with the throw. Back in to Nanchoff. Nanchoff will want to get it across, or maybe Portillas will. Zach Portillas into the box, over, off the chest, on the back post, shot off the post! It's wide out, it'll be a corner kick or guard throw in. It must have been a save by Loro. Gorski can't buy it. Unbelievable, Mike, that's all I can say, that this does not go in. What a strike with the right foot. And he beats Moreau and can't get it in the post. Last chance, Quinzotti, ball down, it's free. New York gets to it. They're going to bring it out. Could be the final 10 seconds. They're going to hang on to it. It appears the Red Bulls, two are onside. Coming at Pickens, a 2v1. Can the Red Bulls get it? They'll take the shot across. Crip, wide. Goal kick, but that's the game. New York Red Bulls, two, have beaten the Tampa Bay Rowdies, two to one. And they will advance to face Louisville City in the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, John Wolinick is ecstatic on the sidelines. The Rowdies could not buy a goal in the second 15 minutes of added extra time. Martin Patterson with a couple of beautiful chances couldn't knock it in. And right now, Heather Donnelly is with the Rowdies head coach, Stuart Campbell. Thank you, Mike. Coach, tough one for you guys to end the season here. What's going through your mind right now? Yeah, obviously, uh, really, really disappointed. I thought it was an excellent performance. We hit the woodwork a couple of times, cleared off the line. I don't know, sometimes not unite. All right, thanks, Coach. Guys. Thank you, Heather. Uh, and then kind of surmises it a little bit, surmises it does here, Lee, when you look at it because the opportunities went across. We saw Gorski off the post in the first half, and then we saw him off the post in the other, in the extra time final minute. But right now, Heather is with the winning coach, John Wallenay. Thank you, Mike. 
Coach, you pick up a big win here, an upset over Tampa Bay in extra time. What statement does that make about your team that you were able to come back and win this one? Uh, the only thing I can say right now, I'm just so proud. You know, like, uh, they were awesome. The guys are awesome. They fought, they came back into the game, put a lot into it. Just proud of it, my guys. Moving forward now, you've got a date with Louisville next weekend. What's going to be the, the plan moving forward here, taking them on? Yeah, we are who we are. We're going to keep going. You know, we, we, def we picked up some injuries, so we're going to have to take account and see where we're at and, uh, you know, keep moving forward. But, you know, uh, we got a lot of momentum now, and we feel pretty good. So whoever we got, we're going to put them on the field. We're going to run around. We're going to work hard. Uh, we're going to give it a go. So uh, very proud of my guys. That's all I can say. Thanks for your time, Coach. Guys. Thank you, Heather. And here is the brackets for the Eastern Conference. You can see Louisville City winning earlier 1-0 in New York in extra time. Knocks off the Tampa Bay Rowdies. The defending champions of the USL still alive. They haven't lost in the playoffs in two years, Lee. Yeah, uh, no. And uh, this year they're doing it on the road, which is even more impressive to come into two places like that uh, to come into Charleston and then to be able to, to win that one right now. We just know that Swill Park is through because of their victory uh, earlier today over Sacramento. And, and again, it's late uh, San Antonio leads Oklahoma City. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's uh, all building up uh, to the two conference finals. Uh, but New York Red Bulls too, the defending champions come in here and, uh, uh, you know, it, it was a back and forth game like we thought it would be. Chances on both sides. I, I did think that the Rowdies in the end had much of the better opportunities. And, and that's where you need a little bit of luck and a little bit more quality in that final third. Patterson, you know, the yeah. one stopped off the line and then the one that he just went flat out wide on as well. Uh, it's frustrating. It must be frustrating because you did enough throughout the game to be able to get the victory except score. And right now the... Probably the save of the year, I thought, at least late in regulation, Evan Loro for New York City, or New York Red Bulls, too. He's with Heather Donnelly right now. Thank you, Mike. What a game you had out there. What was it like for you? You made so many clutch saves there, not only in regulation, but also in extra time. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we came in here. We knew this is a really hard place to play. We knew they were going to get their chances, and, you know, as a team, we knew that we had to kind of bunker down and weather the storm, and that's what we did. As the defending champions, how much motivation is that giving you guys to move forward and potentially repeat? Of course. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, winning it last year was great. But, you know, how much better would it be if we, if we do it again and be back to back? How many times does that happen? We want to we wanna be the people that do that. Talk about a little bit more about your game tonight in goal. What was going through your mind? How much pressure was there tonight trying to upset Tampa Bay? Yeah, I mean... Like I said before, this is a, a really hard place to play. Um, we, we knew that they were going to get chances, you know, as a, as a back five unit, that we knew we had each other's back, and uh, we were just going to help each other out whenever we had to. Thanks, Evan. Thanks. Guys. Thank you, Heather, as we just saw the extra, the stop, yeah, extra time save that he made and really the right positioning, but you pointed it out, Martin Patterson had an opportunity, Lee, but it, I, I go back to that regulation. What an incredible save. Fingertip, and that's the difference. That's why we had to play this extra time. That's why New York's moving on. Yeah, fingertip save at the end of that in the 89th minute of play. And then you saw that Patterson chance as we look at the final stats. And and then the post at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's how many chances do you get like that? And, and look at the shots, 21 uh, on goal. It says that the Red Bulls uh, outshot them, but I, uh, you know, ones that hit the post don't yeah. count so yeah. there was a couple of those I, I would say when you look at it I mean New York certainly uh, the younger legs with the Rowdies created the dangerous opportunities I would say there was a stretch of about 15 20 minutes in the first half a little disappointed and deficient I think it kind of changed the game with the cautions to the Rowdies overall I don't think that was the difference but it was certainly a, a little momentum changing and what we saw tonight Right, yeah. Sebastian Guinzotti shaking hands too. Unfortunately, the season's come to an end for the Rowdies. It, yeah, it has. And uh, now we look to the offseason and some of the changes and who's going to be back, who's not going to be back for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Uh, it, it was just, you know, we'll have to see how much of this team can, can stay together. Uh, another look here. At the, this is right at the end. Final There's, minute. Gorski's on that right-hand side. He gets all of it, and it, it just bashes the, the post. So, unbelievable. And let's check in. Heather Donnelly with the Rowdies leading scorer, Georgie Risto. Thank you, Mike. Georgie, tough moment here in St. Pete, losing to New York Red Bulls to what was the game like out there for you guys, just pushing, trying to get that equalizer? 
It was a very tough game. We knew we knew it was going to be a very tough game, and uh, as you said, it's it's tough for us. But uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's what makes us stronger. So we come back next year stronger. Um, obviously, it's disappointing for all of us in the fans. Uh, we got a bit unfortunate goals, and uh, actually, we missed a lot of chances tonight. Uh, we got a score. Um, so that's it. That's that's my that, that's that's what I think about the game, basically. All right, thank you, Georgie. Nice job this season, guys. Thank you, Heather. Yeah, and uh, you know, for that, it's a disappointing end. You know, the, you can't say there wasn't a fight late late in the game without a couple of big saves for Evan Loro. The Rowdies would be moving on as it is. It is the New York Red Bulls too, who will look to continue to defend their title. They go to Louisville City, and they will face off. And for the Rowdies, it'll be a long off season, but. They will look to go forward, as we heard Georgie Ristoff say. Go ahead, make yourself stronger for next year. Lee, I want to thank you. I want to thank, thank Heather you, Donnelly. This is over all the production crew camera. I appreciate all your help throughout the year. But if you missed anything tonight, you can watch the match in five. Unfortunately, the rowdy season's over. <laughs>